Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at NEB 2016. Click subscribe now to keep up with our coverage from the show. And I'm talking to Nicole Wiles from a company well, let's talk about what the company's name is in a minute here. How are you doing, Nicole? Doing very well, doing very well. Uh, yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> nice to see you again. Now, now you have an absolutely fascinating story to tell. And to being honest, we met with you at CES, and then after that, we started getting some chatter on our channel and other places about oh, whatever happened to that company, ProDrone. They're, they're not communicating, they're not shipping their product, or are they vaporware? And I was like, oh shoot, I really like that drone. And so lo and behold, I met up with you here, and it turns out there is a really good story behind this. Why don't you tell the people what happened? Absolutely. It's always very interesting in international law, right? Um, we had a situation where two different companies, both that have Pro Drone in their name, submitted for trademarking that name within days of each other. And because as things go, the government offices were so swamped with getting uh, applications for trademarks that it took months for them to realize that, whoa, we gave one company the trademark in the United States and another company got it for Europe. Well, obviously we couldn't continue production at that time, and so we were in, so we say, discussions over this complicated issue with the other company. Neither company wanted to budge. Well, we made the very uh, immediate decision to put ego aside. We're not going to try to go for the company that we put a lot of marketing into and, got, and built a brand around. Instead of going that route, we just said, look, we need to get this done, complete, change the name, rebrand, so that we can get production started again and get units out. The new name is GDU, or Global Drone Union. The delay and the silence was due to a legal issue. We were literally not allowed to tell anybody what was going on, and we're very happy now to say that that production delay and that silence was not to do with a product issue, but completely and utterly just an international legal issue that was very frustrating, but now done, and we are looking to ship on May 15th. May 15th, all right, you heard it here. And I can tell you how glad I am because I haven't gotten to fly one of these yet myself, but you know when you go around a show like this, you kind of, you, you handle a drone, you look at the controls, you talk to the people, and you pretty quickly get a sense, so these guys know what they're talking about, or, or we're never gonna see this product again. And I had a really good feeling about you guys, so it's like, what's going on here? And I can't believe it's a giant, you know, John Grisham-worthy international legal confab. We have got a lot of stuff that we're gonna be announcing over this year. Uh, we've had it in the pipeline and we just wanted to make sure that we got this done and over with um, and now we're just focusing on getting the customers the product that they want. We're going to be opening a VIP uh, GDU only uh, customer service center very soon and we've got other aspects coming so the standard unit is going to be delivered and shipping on May 15th maybe even earlier and the advance and the premium will be coming out shortly thereafter. Literally all we have to do is get into the factory, retool the logo, take the pro drone name off and put GDU you on uh, you know some minor stuff but it's going to take a little while to recalculate uh, everything in the in the factory but as soon as all that's done everything is going to be out into the hands of customers all right have you considered maybe just getting some electrical tape and just going over the top of the pro <laughs> we've done that here at NAB because we literally just made the decision to have this we literally have stickers over some things here <laughs> All right, Nicole, well, thank you so much, and so glad to hear everything's back on track. Absolutely, absolutely, and we look forward to getting the units out to everybody, and, uh, you know, uh, hit us up on social media. We want to know uh, how you're feeling about all of this, and uh, we can finally talk to everybody again. We look forward to doing more. <laughs> all right, and from NAV 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Cruise, signing off. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you. <laughs>